Challenges of legal globalization have never been subject of debate in criminal law, especially corruption, as it is today. The present uh, decades is witnessing a remarkable evolution for the Arab region to bridge the gaps between its anti-corruption strategy and uh, other anti-corruption strategies in other world in, or in other areas across the globe. Such substantial amendments and reforms are considered to be a welcome step towards a free uh, world uh, corruption or towards a corrupt free world and to indeed offer more transparency for the uh, uh, international trade contracts and for more or better utilization of resources and for more efficient and productive uh, uh, relationships and, trans and transactions between uh, institutions in the business spectrum. For example, Algeria had paved the way through the promulgation of the 2006 uh, anti-corruption law number 6-1 uh, dated on the 20th of February 2006. Uh, on the other hand, the United Arab of Emirates had uh, rang the bell also in 2016 through the new decree number 7 in 2016. Egypt, from its side, had also enacted and issued a new law uh, which entered into force by the 25th of January 2018. The most significant issues related to these uh, reforms and amendments are related to the bribery of an international official, the bribery of a foreign uh, public official, and as well the bribery of an official uh, who serves for uh, a private uh, entity as well. The frequently asked question here is to what extent can the corruption scheme or any other relevant offense such as the unexplained wealth or as we recall it in Egypt the uh, illicit gains or uh, money laundry or the abuse of public uh, funds, to what extent can these crimes uh, committed overseas impact the court decision or the tribunal's awards? Here comes the importance of an expert report, of an independent expert reports, a report in criminal uh, matters. Such expert reports can englobe different objective and procedural matters. It can also be extended to examine to what extent uh, can the domestic criminal provisions uh, be in harmony with the international norms and regulations especially those related to the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, also the regulations of the Serious Fraud Office in the UK or the Department of Justice in the United States of America. Such reports can be uh, drafted uh, according to the givings of domestic criminal provisions in a certain country and according to the factual assumptions that might differ from uh, what, which case uh, or from case to another. This can help, in my opinion, to provide a very neutral image of the factual assumptions, can help also, in my view, to uh, uh, provide the lawyers and counsels with uh, such a neutral image that will help them at the very end of the case to bring evidence for their clients. One of the most important issues that can be uh, studied in an expert report are uh, the uh, uh, objective points such as the general principles and the rules of the uh, law itself, the definition of the crime, the constitutive elements of uh, the related crime, the actus reus, the mens rea, also the definition of the public official or the international official or the foreign public official himself, the criminal liability of the company and the criminal liability of the institution, also, all items related to the causes of permissibility or non-responsibility or non-punishment. Uh, uh, other uh, points are very and quite important related to the procedural sides of the case, such as the extradition, uh, the travel banning, uh, cash and asset freeze, also the alternative dispute resolution in the criminal matters. These are parts of my field of uh, expertise, which I can present for any potential uh, uh, client, whereas any uh, corruption allegations are provoked in uh, any uh, judicial proceeding or 
uh, arbitral uh, uh, ones and can help to present a clear and a neutral image for the factual assumptions in front of the court or in front of the tribunal. Thank you very much.